Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix if your headphones are not being detected on your Windows device. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and you want to left click on it. And then you want to type in system. The best match that comes up should say about your PC right underneath system settings. You want to left click on that, about your PC. Then you want to scroll down to the bottom of this window until you get to something that says system info underneath related settings. So again you want to use the scroller and scroll down until you get to system info. And you want to left click on it. I'm going to minimize that out of the other window for the moment. So now underneath the system window we're going to left click on where it says advanced system settings on the left side. So now you want to left click on the hardware tab right next to advanced and then underneath device installation settings left click on device installation settings this button right here. So it's going to ask you do you want to automatically download manufacturers apps and custom icons available for your devices. You want to make sure it's set to no, your device might not work as expected. And then you want to left click on save changes once you've made that selection. Once you've done that you can close out of these other windows. I'm also going to close out of this window as well. And now I'm going to head back to star menu and I'm going to type in device manager. It should be listed right above control panel. So you want to left click on that. So now underneath device manager on the left side there should be something that says sound, video, and game controllers. So you either double click on this or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand this view. So there should be something that says audio or audio related. You might have several inputs on here so don't be shocked if you see more than one. However in most cases it should say audio. Now you can do this for multiple ones as well if you're not sure. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It actually probably won't be bad if you do this. But what we're going to do is right click on the one we think is our headphones and then we're going to left click on update driver software. You want to search automatically for updated driver software. So it says the best driver software for your device is already installed. So you want to click on close. And then at this point, whatever device you're having problems with, whether it be speakers or your headset or whatever device is inputting and outputting audio that you're having the issues with, I'd recommend Googling the driver software from the manufacturer's website and then manually download it and install it by right clicking on the driver again, left clicking on update driver software, and then you would browse my computer for driver software to manually update it. Some manufacturers, like a lot of graphics card drivers like NVIDIA, AMD, and so forth, what they'll actually do is have automatic download utilities you can download from online. If you can find one of those, I'd recommend you do it. And if you're curious as to know what version of the driver you're running, so if you're comparing the two versions, if you right-clicked on the driver software in the device manager, and then you left-click on properties, and then you went up to the driver tab, it would tell you the driver version that you're running right here so you could compare with the one you find online. As a good rule of thumb, I'd always recommend finding the one online and just update over it. However, if you're still experiencing a problem, if you've updated the driver for a long period of time and you might have had this on your computer, there's a good chance that this rollback driver button will not be grayed out, meaning that there have been several updates to that driver. What I would recommend doing at that point is if you do not have this option grayed out, meaning if you have the ability to select this rollback driver button, I'd recommend you roll back the driver to a previous state. You're likely going to be prompted if you want to restart your computer. I'd recommend you do that and then go online and manually try and download the driver software again or automatically install it depending upon the software manufacturer. Again, some do, some don't. A good rule of thumb is I always like to run the automatic utilities if I can. Try not to download some fishy third-party application. I really would recommend against that. But anyway, I don't really want to ramble on too much of this video. I do hope one of the methods I went over works for you and helps resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.